Are you tired of statistical so-called experts? What about talking to your basic sports fan? Well, here's one. A former three-time OCIF performer in high school and a runner-up for San Bernardino County's High School Athlete of the Year in 1982, Jim Lochran. And Jim, let's start with the Lakers, okay? New faces, new changes, and a transition that really has not gone as smooth as people expected it to go. Uh, they got two new faces, Terry Teagle, Sam Perkins. Mm -hmm. um, new defense, new offense. Mm -hmm. It's just going to take time, you know. It's a building process, and they're still good. They've got magic. As long as you got magic, you got a chance. Absolutely. Now the Clippers, high expectations, a lot of talent, but geez, I mean, injuries are still affecting them. Benoit Benjamin, we talked about this. He's he still has a shoulder problem, and Danny Manning just today. Yeah, today Danny talking, Manning. Yeah, um, going to be out for six games. Uh, and one, the injury bug is, once again, uh, playing a big factor with the Clippers. There are snake bitten, but they have Bo Kimball. It, what, how do you think Bo will adjust to the, the uh, Bo's exciting. I like Bo. He's, uh, he's a good player. Mm -hmm. He's a great offensive player, great scoring mm -hmm. machine. And I think what you're going to find with Bo is he's going to come off and be Mr. Offense, instant offense. Mm -hmm. Now, the, moving over back to the farm again. We're going back and forth here. The Kings, I think for real, are they paper lines? I mean, that, trade, that Gretzky trade really... It's, it's, we're waiting for the result, and this year they got off to a good start, but, you know, we'll continue. Absolutely. I, I think the Kings are real good. Uh, they've, they've got great, they're an offensive machine. Mm -hmm. I think what you'll find with them is if their defense holds up, mm -hmm. they keep people out of the crease, mm -hmm. they're going to be, uh, they're going to have a chance to, to get into the playoffs and, and think and do a pretty good job this year. Well, the thing, too, is the main thing is having Kelly Rudy, uh, performing at the same level he has been doing in the playoffs. He's been an yeah. excellent playoff goalie. Absolutely. I, what I like, too, is the new acquisition of, mm -hmm. of uh, McIntyre, mm -hmm. um, the Kruzelniski trade. Mm -hmm. um, what you'll find with him, he's 21 years old. He's got the great legs. He's going to give you some speed on the defensive end. They've got enough offense. Definitely. The Raiders. Now, let's move on to pro football. Raiders, a new attitude. They found a home. Uh, the Traders. The traders. Well, you can call them that way if you're an Oakland fan, but uh, they finally got a home. They finally got a home. Seemed like they, that settling down in the Coliseum for uh, ha having a place they were going to settle down and call a home for the next 20 years or so has really had a positive impact in their performance. Once again, Al Davis with just uh, being Mr. Genius. Uh, they're going to come out uh, way ahead in that deal. They're going to get a new restructuring of the Coliseum and. And Al's going to make more money in the end, too. you think the Bo Jackson situation uh, will be more disrupting than helpful? If they're winning, uh, nothing will be disrupting. But <laughs> uh, the, the thing about it is when you've got Bo and Marcus, and, and uh, not, let's not forget uh, Steve Smith. Mm -hmm. uh, he does a tremendous job as well. Um, but when you've got all that talent, uh, winning uh, will take care of all the problems. But if they start to lose, who knows? And Greg Bell also lost in the entire shuffle. Greg Bell excellent. also excellent. Gotcha. Excellent. No, great right talent. There. Now we look at the disappointments and the surprises, the Rams and the Vikings, the Rams on the other side of town. They just cannot develop any chemistry this year. What has happened with that organization? They're very young in their secondary. Plus they've had a few injury problems early in the year. But if they could have picked up maybe a Ricky Ellison mm -hmm. or whoever, uh, maybe a, um, a, a, a pass rusher Definitely. Um, to help them up front, um, that would have really been a plus. Now they've got to live and die with the kids mm -hmm. and in the secondary and some up front. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just creating problems defensively. They're going to score points. Mm -hmm. But uh, now they have to score more in the opposition, which is tough. Yeah, and they do have an aging offensive line. Now, very, much, very true. And the Vikings. Now, there's a, there's a team that really is, is just in shambles, folks. I mean, here's... The field goal kicker, uh, Donald Iwewiki, I can never pronounce his name, but I know he's, he's had that problem with the connection, probably with the heroin uh, cartel in uh, Kenya. Four counts. Uh, Four counts. They lose their, they lose their um, general manager, Lynn. The Herschel Walker trade, I mean, you've, you've obviously expressed your, uh, your views on that many, many, a number of times. The worst trade in football history right now, but I think... You really feel that way? Uh, right now. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, with uh, Jerry Burns' offensive scheme of things mm -hmm. and his offensive coordinator, um, Herschel is the type of back where you've got to give the ball 20 or 30 times a game. You've got to give him the ball 20 or 30 times. Mm -hmm. If you don't, he's not going to get in rhythm. He's not going to be able to adjust to certain situations, certain defenses. Mm -hmm. And that's Herschel's problem. He's getting the ball four or five times a game. He got it more in the Denver game, mm -hmm. and they won. Thank you, Jim. We look forward to your next expert 
or not so expert commentaries <laughs> on our next on our next show. Thank you. By man. the way, uh, nice tie. That's our. Show.